Inequality between racial and ethnic groups in terms of income, health care, housing, education, and opportunity is often even greater in northern Manhattan than it is citywide. A new report celebrating strength addressing needs by the Citizens Committee for Children of New York, a nonprofit children's advocacy organization, is proposing community-driven solutions to improve the well-being of the 500,000 residents and 90,000 children in northern Manhattan. And joining us now to talk about that report as part of our ongoing initiative, Chasing the Dream, Poverty and Opportunity in America, is Jennifer March, the Executive Director of the Citizens Committee for Children. Jennifer, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. So Jennifer, what is the principal mission of your organization? So Citizens Committee for Children, or often referred to as CCC, is a child advocacy organization whose mission is to ensure that every child is healthy, housed, educated, and safe. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this report. Why, first of all, why did you focus, decide to focus on Northern Manhattan? And what is Northern Manhattan? So Northern Manhattan includes West Harlem, Central Harlem, and Washington Heights. And we chose to focus our report on this district because we have a large data set called Keeping Track of New York City's Children. And we look at the data across different important domains, economic security, housing, health, uh, education, youth and family and community. We see that northern Manhattan ranks very high risk uh, for children and families. All right. We're going to talk about the, um, the needs that are shared uh, overall in northern Manhattan, but but let's let's focus on each of what you call the community districts. Talk about, will you talk about that? What are some of the unique needs of each of those districts? So I think in Washington Heights, what's a very unique need is social isolation that's driven by immigration status. We have higher rates of adults uh, with limited English ability. Uh, and really concerns, given the national climate around immigration, yeah. about seeking services. Mm -hmm. So that's one particular unique need to Washington Heights. In central Harlem and West Harlem, what we're seeing is larger than average shares of adult households, heads that lack a high school diploma, and who are really stuck in employment sectors where wage growth is limited. Yeah. So, uh, so speaking more broadly, you know, how does the poverty rate of northern Manhattan generally compared to the poverty rate citywide? Well, what's interesting is that there's been a more dramatic decline in poverty rates and child poverty rates in the district as a whole than the city overall. So the poverty rate has declined almost 4%, where overall in the city it's declined 1% over the last decade. What we see, though, is there are far higher numbers of children living in poverty in those districts, meaning 60% of children are living in households that earn less than $38,000 a year. That's dramatic when we know the median income in New York City is about 56000 And the, the drop of the poverty rate in northern Manhattan, I mean, I know for a fact that parts of that, particularly in Harlem, have been highly gentrified. So I'm wondering if the drop in poverty has, is because the general population's income has increased or is it because the people moving in raise up the average income? Well, that is exactly why we wanted to do this report and actually speak to community residents and direct service providers in these districts because we saw um, much higher growth in income in these districts and lower rates of poverty which made us question whether or not all residents were benefiting from kind of that lifting tide. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about education. Um, how do students from northern Manhattan perform in the state mandated tests compared to students citywide? Well, it's particularly troubling um, because they're passing the ESL or English language arts and math at rates that are half that of the citywide average. So their schools are really poor resourced and children are not attaining passing rates uh, at the level that we would like to see. Uh -huh. So, as the report suggests, it's not just needs, but their strength in these communities. You talked about the increasing uh, income of uh, parts of northern Manhattan. What are some of the other strengths? That, you're, well, that you witness at your report? Later. I think what the report and what our participatory research process demonstrated is that community members, parents, and young people are really actively involved in thinking about how to strengthen their communities. Uh, there's a large, uh, very robust uh, human service, social service infrastructure and healthcare infrastructure in the district. There are beautiful parks and playgrounds. 
and that there are young people and parents that are really actively trying to think about how to access the services that they need to be upwardly mobile, to succeed in school and in the workforce. And our challenge really is the needs are great, and we need to help think through how their local advocacy can be informed by data and how we ensure that the city of New York is paying attention to these trends and making sure that services are convenient, accessible, and affordable for those that need them most. And so what do you hope to, to achieve with this report? Well, I hope we hope multiple things. Um, the process was a year-long process of talking to people that live and work in the communities that um, we were focused on. And we hope that that process has created new relationships through which people can explore collaborative service models and advocacy at the very local level. And we're hoping that the report as well informs our own advocacy on citywide initiatives to make sure that eviction prevention resources are in the right place, that we explore new models of child care, and other things that just help parents live, work, and raise their family here. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much. Good luck with you to your organization and to you. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us.